Right, welcome to my review of the Watson Power Rack. There's a couple of reasons I really wanted to do this review. Firstly, when I was looking to buy a squat rack, I couldn't find any reviews online, either on YouTube or written reviews about any of the equipment I was looking at. And obviously tying into that, all the information given by the companies themselves is always going to be a little bit biased. Before I get on to all the pros and cons, it's worth mentioning that this is just the basic model. If you go to watsongym.co.uk, you can see there's quite a lot of customizable options like additional lift-off hooks, different pull-up bars, and obviously all the colours are available on there as well. This model retails at £992, including shipping and tax. Right, let's start off with all the positives. So the first thing that strikes you about this rack is the colour. We opted for red, although it is available in a few other colours, including pink and blue. The next thing for me is the hole spacing, which is quite important if you're a little bit fussy about the height that you have the lift-off hooks and the safety bars, as I am. So that's a real positive. As we come around, you'll just see the lift-off hooks. And you'll see on this rack that they're actually quite shallow, which I thought was a real benefit, as it means I don't have to do a half squat just to lift the bar off. And then if you have a look at the back plate as well, you'll see that it's quite high, so you can re-rack the bar with confidence. You don't have to worry about catching on anything, especially with those heavier weights. As you come down, you'll see the safety bars. So with this rack, they're a really solid design. I've used a few racks in the past and they felt a little bit flimsy. Not with these, they're, I think, solid stainless steel, which is awesome. You can just see there the lift-off hook adjustments, just a drop-in pin. And finally, up the top here, you can see the pull-up bar's got a few different grip options, which I thought was brilliant. Comes a standard, nice little touch for a rack of this price. Right, so let's look at some of the downsides. So in terms of the structure, the biggest thing for me is that I feel it could do with an extra cross beam at the top. So it is structurally sound, but an extra cross beam would just make it a little bit more solid. It might look like it's got two, but as you can see there, that pull-up bar actually doesn't attach to the rack itself. It is just welded onto that initial cross beam. As you move a bit further down, we'll come on to what's probably my biggest disappointment with the rack. And that is the rollers on the lift-off hooks. So as you can see there, the rollers don't actually roll, which means that it leads to the hooks just swinging side to side. And it's a bit hard to see in the video, but you can see there it's actually caused a bit of damage to the powder coating. There's also a little bit of chipping to the stainless steel. It's just superficial things, but when you're paying top dollar, you expect just that little bit more. As well, it'd be really easy to resolve if they just weld an extra plate onto the side it would stop them swinging and it would resolve the issue completely. Okay, as you move further down, try not to be too distracted by the retro Peugeot on the driveway. But you can just about see there that there's a few chips to the powder coating. Now they were there when the rack arrived. And even though I'm just highlighting this one, there was actually a few across the rack. We didn't say anything because there was such a long lead time. We didn't want to have to wait another 10 weeks for them to sort it out. Again, the, the safety bars. I do really like the safety bars, but they could do with a little drop-in pin just to keep them a little bit more secure. And as we come right around the other side of the rack, you'll see up at the top here, I've taken one of the little plastic caps off the bolts. This is probably the most petty thing, but the toolkit didn't come with washers, which just meant that as I was tightening the bolts, I felt like I was digging into the powder coating a little bit. Like I said, that is a petty thing, but again, when you're paying absolute top dollar like I did for this rack, then you just expect that little bit more. Overall, though, I've got to say, I am really happy with the rack. I think that the biggest issue most people would have is the price, which at nearly a £1,000 is very steep, and obviously there are racks out there on the market for pretty much half of that. I suppose, ultimately, time will tell if it's worth the money, but I've got to say, we've had it about three months now and put it through all sorts of abuse, as you can see in a couple of the clips here. And other than the issues noted in the video, there's been no problems with it at all. Right, so that's my review of the Watson Power Rack. I hope it was helpful, especially if you're thinking about investing in one. If you're really nerdy and you've got a question about any of the kit, feel free to just leave a question in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to get back to you whenever I'm not training. Thanks for watching.